What's up everybody? I'm Brian Tong, your guide to all things Salesforce, and this is Salesforce Explained. It's a series where we talk Salesforce and technology without all the jargon or buzzwords, and today we're digging into how to protect customer data. We'll walk through some of the biggest cyber threats facing your company, how Salesforce products actively help combat those threats, and just because we're feeling in a good mood today, we're gonna share six steps, one, two, three, four, five, six that you can take right now to better secure your data. So let's go. And it goes without saying, customer relationships are built on trust. But companies don't always consider that you can also build a pretty powerful brand by becoming known as a consumer privacy advocate. It can even be a competitive advantage. Now I'm gonna hit you with some stats just to make sure that this really sinks in. According to a recent Salesforce survey, over 90% of consumers said that their trust in a company makes them one, more likely to buy that company's products and services, two, more likely to be more loyal to that company, and three, more likely to recommend that company to others. And look, it's a trust trifecta. Trust drives sales, trust builds loyalty, and trust encourages word of mouth recommendations. Now, when it comes to customer data and privacy, that trust customers have in your products and services extends to faith that you won't sell or otherwise use their personal information without consent. So while you may need to invest some time and resources, that investment will reap benefits in the way of building a greater relationship with your customers. And with Salesforce, you know, it always comes back to your customers. Protect your customers to protect your business. Now, Salesforce is built to secure and protect your data and applications. The Salesforce platform security features enable you to empower your users to do their jobs safely and efficiently. And let's face it, the past couple of years have seen a lot of people shift to working remotely a lot more than they used to. That's made things rough on business, IT, and security teams who can't manage every employee's home network as effectively as they can lock things down at the office. In fact, the global cyber attack volume has gone way up in the past few years. Data breaches, ransomware attacks, malware, social engineering, bad actors are out there trying all kinds of stuff to get your data. Actually, you know, I did say like no tech jargon or buzzwords, but these are pretty important. So we're gonna break down just a few of the threats that you're fighting to keep your data safe. First off, phishing. That's phishing with a PH. It gets its name from, you guessed it, phishing with an F. And why? Well, that's because both involve using bait to hook your prey. You know, phishing is a social engineering tactic that tries to trick victims into giving up sensitive data. How? Well, that's by pretending to be a trustworthy person or organization. The attacker sends a message posing as a trusted entity that needs some information from you. Maybe they're claiming to be your bank or a popular company like Amazon or Netflix, just checking up on some suspicious activity on your account. That's the bait, right? An email, text message, voice call, or other message with a made up, but pretty compelling reason for you to hand over your passwords or credit card info, take the bait, and you wind up giving sensitive information to the bad guys behind the scam. And let's be honest, almost all of us have fallen victim to this. I know you'd be surprised. That also includes this really smart guy that's hosting this video. Yikes. All right, then there's malware. Malware is a software that infects your computer without you knowingly installing it. There are tons of different malware out there and they're often passed from computer to computer through attachments to emails or links sent through messages. Open up the attachment or click the link and the malware downloads and installs itself in your system. So from there, the damage that's done depends on the specific malware. It can include stealing your data, locking your computer until you pay a ransom to unlock it, that's ransomware, or just wreaking total havoc and erasing your data from the inside. Next up is the brute force attack. This one doesn't sound friendly. Well, brute force is when someone just straight up tries to guess your password, except this is not a person guessing, it's a computer program that can make up, what, up to a billion guesses per second. <laughs> so that uh, one, two, three, four code you thought no one will guess, that's easy pickings here. And then finally, we have internal threats. And as the name implies, an internal threat is when someone within your organization messes with your data, usually by corrupting it, deleting it, or stealing it to sell or somehow use against you. Internal threats are like the, uh, hey, the call is coming from inside the house of data protection. But never fear, Salesforce is here. Seriously, if you leave this video with just one takeaway, make it this, okay? Salesforce can help you prepare to face these attacks so you won't fall victim to them. Okay, 
let's change it. Let's make that two takeaways, okay? Please make sure that you run those security updates on your laptops. You know the ones that you always click later on because you're in the middle of something when they pop up, you just wanna ignore them? No, run those updates, people. I'll talk more about that later in the video, okay? Moving on now here. I know what you're thinking right now. Brian, you've told me about all the bad stuff, so what are we gonna do about it? Well, if you're running Salesforce, congratulations, you're already doing a lot. Now trust, this is priority number one at Salesforce, really, like it is Salesforce's number one value and the Salesforce platform was built to keep data secure. So what exactly does Salesforce do to keep your data secure? Well, let's run down some of the highlights here. Salesforce is designed to help you manage identity and privacy, multi-factor authentication. This adds an extra layer of security for experiences that capture sensitive data. Salesforce makes it easy to keep your data compliant with local laws and industry regulations. And it's easy to manage how your Salesforce instance anonymizes, handles, and transfers customer data. Salesforce helps prevent insider threats by tracking user activity. So the system makes it easy to see which employees are accessing and downloading what data. Salesforce makes it easy to anonymize data so your developers can build and test new apps and functionality without putting customer data at risk. And when your devs launch awesome new apps and features, it's easy to monitor threats by seeing who accesses what data, when, and from where. And if you're thinking of migrating from an older system, even a system that's built on post-it notes and spreadsheets you painstakingly handcrafted yourself, Salesforce helps you easily protect older data to ensure you meet privacy regulations and even keep data off the public internet entirely. See, talk about stealth mode here. Now, if you wanna learn more about Salesforce, hey, go ahead and click the link on screen, but make sure you open it in another tab because we're about to dive into six tips on things that you can do right now to protect your data without spending a ton of time or money. All right, here we go. At number one, block access to known malicious or harmful websites using antivirus software or firewalls. Now there are a bunch of websites out there that are just known to be sketchy. Whether they use non-secure connections or try to trick you into downloading malware, your best bet is to block access to these sites so nobody in your organization accidentally opens your network up to a threat. Now number two, use tools like event monitoring to monitor data access and enforce security policies. One of the best things about software is that you can use it to do the grunt work for you. Even monitoring is software that keeps track of who's accessing what data and when. So use it to alert you to any suspicious activity and to help enforce your security policies. Numero tres, number three, don't let your guard down on passwords. Enable 2FA or two-factor authentication to strengthen your security. Passwords, they aren't enough anymore. You know when you log into a mobile banking or an Apple or Microsoft account and after you enter your password, you then have to enter in some sort of a code or approve a notification on your phone? That's two-factor or multi-factor authentication. Here's a quick IRL example or in real life example. See, that's for you, Mama Tong. It's like when you withdraw money from an ATM, your ATM card is something that you have and your PIN is something that you know. Get that, see? That's two factors. Multiple factor authentication adds an extra layer of security when anyone logs in. And this can help prevent security breaches in the event that a bad actor gets hold of a legitimate user's login credentials through phishing or brute force attacks. All right, number four, regularly back up your data. Schedule it for a time that doesn't interfere with your work Set up an automated backup program so your data is backed up regularly. Schedule backups for lunchtime or maybe in the middle of the night so they don't interfere with working hours. Like ideally, you'll want at least two backups, one on a physical hard drive that you can access and then a second one offsite somewhere in the cloud. That's so you can recover vital business data even if things go really wrong. So you know what? My advice to you, back that thing up. Okay, number five, two words, software updates. Yes, keep your apps updated. While it might seem like an afterthought, today's software is routinely updated not only with features, but new security protocols as well. Keeping your employees' desktops, laptops, and phones, and mobile devices up to date will help maintain your overall security profile. And last but not least, number six, review app usage patterns. 
Just like it's a good idea to use event monitoring to alert you to strange activity on your network, it's also smart to review app usage patterns regularly. Whether it's a malicious app posing as a legit utility or somebody knowingly accessing something they shouldn't be, keeping tabs on what apps are being used on company devices and the company network is an important link in your security chain. And hey, you know what? I'm feeling good here. Here's one more bonus tip just for you because you're an awesome audience that is sticking with us this far and I do not want to see your data get breached. So take a small business risk assessment test just to zero in on your security vulnerabilities before they become liabilities. There are plenty of free and paid resources out there to help you conduct a detailed assessment of your organization to help just tighten up security no matter how big or small your business is because we all know the saying, better safe than sorry. And remember, a small investment made today can prevent a huge loss tomorrow of time, money, and potentially irreplaceable business data. So use the tips in this list to quickly and easily get started on securing your business from cyber threats. I'm even glad that I went through these with you because it reminded me some of the things that I need to do just to step up my game. And if you want to learn more about just how secure Salesforce's platform really is, hey, click on the link on screen to see real-time information on system performance and security. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time.